What's going on guys? Welcome to Clutch People. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night and today I'm going to be talking about PJ Dozier and I do not think he's getting the credit he deserves. It looks like Michael Porter Jr. and Bull Bull are getting all that credit and hype from the Denver Nuggets. Do I think PJ Dozier is going to be an all-star one day? No, but I think he's a very solid NBA player and I think he has an interesting story. Coming out of high school as a top 50 recruit, PJ Dozier played for years on a torn ACL. They couldn't even see an ACL in there. So yes, he had no ACL. Isn't that crazy? As we're going to be getting into PJ Dozier, what he has been doing in the NBA bubble, as he's very good at picking his spots coming off of screens, the mid-range shot is definitely in his arsenal. Dozier has the ability to read pick and roll defenses very well. He has excellent core vision. His ability to know when a player is cutting or spotting up, or his ability to scare the defense with his length, he is a 7-foot wingspan, being the tallest guard on his team. So his ability to drive to the basket with his long strides and wingspan, knowing when to kick it out, he plays with such great pace. Definitely does need to work on his three-point shot, but he's looking like a high-energy defensive contributor coming off the bench for the Denver Nuggets. He wasn't always playing with the Nuggets, though, on the NBA roster. After going on draft in the 2017 NBA draft, he was tossed around the G League a lot. From the Lakers, from the Mavericks, to the Oklahoma City Thunder, to the Boston Celtics, he even played on the Philadelphia 76ers Summer League team. Then he went on to sign a one-year contract with the Denver Nuggets, but he was also assigned to the Windy City Bulls of the G League affiliate. For the start of the NBA G League season on January 11, 2020, Dozier had a game-high 32 points, 9 assists, 8 rebounds, 2 steals, and a win 120-112 against the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. And his Denver debut on January 15th, Dozier finished with 12 points as he filled in for the injured Jamal Murray. As after being very solid in the regular season, the Nuggets decided to sign him before the NBA bubble was about to start up, signing him to a three-year contract. As he's been very solid on the basketball court in the bubble, in 21 minutes a game, he's averaging 8.9 points per game, 0.7 steals, 3.7 assists, 2.9 rebounds, shooting 73% from the free throw line, 33% from three, and 40% from the field. In my opinion, you can't look at the numbers to see how successful he has been for the Nuggets. Definitely a player that does the fundamental and little things on the court at the end of the day that results in big things like W's. As he dropped 18 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists against the Los Angeles Lakers, as he's a winning player and I believe he's going to impact this team in a big way, especially on the defense side of the basketball. Let me know down below your thoughts on PJ Dozier. If you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button and smash the like button. And as always guys, have a humble day or night. Peace out, y'all.